Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I'm in uh, Insta360 Studio. Now I'm using a Mac computer. You may be using a Windows computer. That's that's fine. And what you can see here, I've got this 8K 30 frames per second 360 spherical clip, and there I am with a bucket of uh, of scraps that I dropped on the ground. And what I'm going to show you within this video is how to use what's called Insta360 Deep Track to track a subject. So in this case, we're going to track a raccoon. So I put the food out. Let's just kind of keep scrolling here. Yeah, there's a raccoon right there. Let's see. So we're going to scroll back till we get where he first comes out of the wilderness. Let's see. So you can, you can look around for your subject. And in this case, I'm looking over uh, in this area right here because I know that's where the raccoon's going to come from. So we're going to get to the point to where the raccoon comes out. There he is right there. See? So he comes there. And then he's going to come up here. So let's do this. When he emerges there, we want to track him using deep track. So what you can do, select your subject. In this case, it's the raccoon. And then over here where it says deep track, you select deep track. Hold down your left mouse button and select the subject. In this case, the raccoon. What you can do also right here at the start is do this. Actually, let's do that first. Let's hit cancel, and we're going to break this clip up right here because that's where the raccoon starts. So we'll do split, and now the only thing we're going to be concerned with is the, uh, is the part with the raccoon. So let's, let's see. So see, there he is right there. And that's at the start of this clip. So we can actually delete the lead in because we don't, you know, we don't need that clip. So just go right here. And likewise, if you wanted to break this up into more clips, you could. But for the purposes of this deep track tutorial, I'm just going to start it right here where he's there. So we'll do deep track. We'll select the subject, in this case, the raccoon. And then we'll do start deep track. So see what it's doing now, Insta360 Studio, it's intelligently tracking the subject, which is the raccoon. And you can see it even chased him into the woods. So now the raccoon disappeared, so you can do stop. And then you can break this if you wanted to. And in this case, I had, I left this, x4 down there for a long time so i've got the raccoons coming and going but see now if you do play on the clip this first clip right here you'll see that it tracks very smoothly very intelligently the raccoon and this is useful when you're doing uh when you're not filming a video or should I say publishing an Insta360 video in 360 degrees? Because you could also do that. But when you want to take advantage of the Insta360 camera, and this is a great use case, because you can see here I'm filming in 360, I can look all the way around. But what I'm able to do is capture these animals in, uh, in 8K and then publish in 4K but have everything perfectly framed. So see right here, here comes the, let's scroll back. Let's, let's track the raccoon again. So we're going to see where he comes from here. Okay, there he is right there. He's coming out of the woods. So what we'll do is we'll stop it right there, right here, where he's first coming out of the woods. And we'll do this, which is split. And we'll delete this part right here. We don't want that. We only want the part where the raccoon reemerges. 
So again, what you can do is select uh, deep track, select the subject, which is the raccoon, and then do start deep track. See, look at how cool that is. I mean, it's doing a phenomenal job tracking the subject. See, look at that. And see, he can walk all the way around the camera eating his ribs. Look at him. He's taking his rib to go. And now he's back off the camera. So you can stop deep track. And then in this case, you could do another split. So boom, now you've got another clip. Let's watch it. So you've got this very smoothly moved camera. Obviously nothing is physically moving. It's, it's my Insta360 X4 on the invisible selfie stick and tripod legs. But having it down there, the raccoon felt comfortable. He just saw the Insta360. He's like, dude, what's that? Didn't bother him. But see, you can see here, there's my, there's my little legs. And then I've got the uh, selfie stick, which is invisible, invisible selfie stick. But that's sitting right there in front of the food that the raccoon was eating. So it's actually a really cool uh, use case. And then, see, you can... Uh, you could delete all your, I mean, I've got a ton of footage here. I filmed for 21 minutes and 42 seconds in 8K. But I can take all of this now, individual clips, whatever I want to do, and export. And I've got, since it was filmed natively in 8K, I've got a very high quality and usable 4K video that I can use in traditional projects. But since I filmed in 8K 360, this this is like virtually having just a ton of cameras but by using deep track as i just demonstrated i'm able to focus upon the subject which is the raccoon and get this just really phenomenal tracking like a professional camera person but there was nobody there it was just the insta 360x4 on the tripod legs and invisible selfie stick so I didn't, I didn't bother the raccoon, but now I've got a really cool video as if I had my film crew down there. So really cool. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, give it a thumbs up. If you found it to be really beneficial, send me a super thanks. Not required, but you can click the thanks button below this video and it's deeply appreciated. Helps to support me with creating videos like this one. If you have any ideas for upcoming Insta360 tutorial videos, just ask, and I'll try to film a, a, a video response to answer your questions. But Insta360 is so much more than just a 360-degree camera. I mean, as, as you've seen demonstrated here, you can take advantage of it, and this Insta360 Studio software that I just used, which is incredible, and just have an abundance of, of footage. So, you know, no need to pull, no need to throw multiple action cameras in your bag. Just take one Insta360 X4 and you can get phenomenal results like this. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And, and again, if you're shopping for the Insta360 X4, any of the accessories, expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order it online. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.